What up? What it do? It's your boy JDQ with Vision IDU TV Shorts. And in today's episode, we have Quavo stepping up against gun violence. Uh, says here in the headline reads, Quavo steps up advocacy against gun violence after his nephew takeoffs shooting death. Now, let's get right into it real quick uh, because we do try to cover these uh, headlines and quick articles in about five minutes or less. So here we go. Los Angeles AP. The trauma Migos rapper Quavo suffered after witnessing his nephew take off being gunned down last year is a disturbing sight he doesn't want anyone else to experience. Though his pain, Quavo found his purpose as a vocal advocate against gun violence. He met privately with some powerful political figures in, including Vice President Kamala Harris, then later spoke on a panel about combating the issue during the Congressional Black Caucus Legislative conference in Washington on Wednesday. The Grammy-nominated rapper said Takeoff's untimely death in 2022 ultimately convinced him to speak up. Now, he does say a few words, uh, you know, in that whole, like, statement that I'm going to skip over. If you want to read the rest of it, like, in its entirety, you can uh, look up cp24.com for the article, but I will continue with, like, uh, everything after the speech that he gives um, Quavo joined a panel discussion Wednesday alongside Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock, uh, Rep. Lucy McBath, whose activism was propelled after the shooting death of her teenage son, and Greg Jackson of the Community Justice Action Fund. It was a solutions-oriented conversation on community intervention strategies, the battle with gun violence, and the power in advocacy. Earlier, Quavo arrived at the conference hand in hand with his sister Ta- Titania. I almost said Tatiana. Titania Davenport, uh, the mother of Takeoff. After Quavo met with Harris, the vice president praised the rapper and Davenport's call for his action to prevent gun violence. Um, and of course, there's a lot more within the article. Um, but if I'm being completely honest, uh, with not only the uh, article, but with the headline. Um, it sounds nice, right? It sounds nice the way it is worded, you know, like stepping up against advocacy and all that. It sounds great. It sounds phenomenal. And, you know, it, it sounds like music to our ears when we hear it that way, right? But in reality, if I'm being honest uh, of my thoughts and my opinion about this, um, this is just to further, um, you know, uh, we're with like extremely, um, strict gun policies, uh, which I'm, you know, I'm not for really, you know, um, uh, I always think that there's better ways of taking care of these types of situations without having to restrict, uh, the people with their gun rights. Um, and that's something I've, I think I've always been vocal about um, from way back when, uh, and I will always be, you know, vocal about it because, you know, when you take the guns away from the average citizen, um, normal people like you and myself, um, and you just kind of like give the government entire control of uh, guns in general, then you have a weak people, uh, weak people that the government can, you know, pretty much do absolutely anything with. And I, I'm not for that. I'm for people having some type of defense if need be, right? Uh, but anyways, those are my thoughts. Um, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this, uh, whether you're for it or against it. Um, you think this is a good thing that he's, you know, speaking up about it, or you think it's leading to, uh, you know, stricter gun controls, like a whole like agenda behind that. Uh, either way, whatever your opinion is, I'm open to, to hear and read what you guys have to say, as always. But yeah, that being said, y'all stay safe and blessed out there. As always, this was JDQ with Vision Eye UTV Shorts. And until next time, peace out.